Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Edgar, Hi, welcome teacher. back. Even... Thank you very much. How are you? How was work today? I'm very well. It, it was very good. What about yours? I'm <laughs> really tired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am really, really tired. You've been I, working. I'm still at the office. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm still at the office. So, mm -hmm. so that's that's the thing. I'm I'm really really tired because I've been working here, and then I had a class. I had like to take class myself. I wanted to sleep a little bit, you know, because I <laughs> I, I'm, I woke up at five a.m. So I, I'm I'm awake mm -hmm. since, since five a.m. You know. And then, uh, and then you know, I have to, I have, I still have this class. I'm very tired, <laughs> and I still yeah, have. You had a long day. Yeah, I still have to drive all the way back home. Oh, uh, how long did you take to get not, home? Not, not, I actually stay here. I actually stay here when I have to come to the office. I stay here because I don't want to. I don't want to run into all the traffic because I live uh, near La Constitución. That's where I live. <laughs> Right. And um, so I so so I work, you know, near Merliot. Right. So driving from Merliot and going through that, you know, uh, the going through the Jerusalem Street, you know, or the Jerusalem Highway is really, really, really tiring because you get, you know, you get a lot of traffic. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. I want to, I just, I just want to sleep, you know, I want to sleep like crazy today. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, you tomorrow, you we're know. not going to have a class, you know. So, yes, we are going to have off tomorrow. So, so I'm going to do homework. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's sad, but, but, you know, I, I, I will sleep, you know, I will sleep a lot. Okay. I will wake up really, really late tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'm going to wake up, so. I'm going to wake up early. Hold on. I'm going to wake up early because. I need to say hi to my mom, right? It's Mother's okay. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's, yeah, I, I need to say hi to her. She lives in Argentina. Uh, hmm. Like, yeah, my family lives in Argentina. And <laughs> I will move there eventually, I guess, because, you know. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I need to call her, you know, to say, to say hi to her. Crazy. Yes, it's happening. What about you? Welcome, Gabby. Nice to see you again. Where have you been? I didn't see you yesterday. I didn't I was working so late. I, was, I get home like, I think, 9.30. 9.30? Oh, wow. Okay. You got home yesterday at 9.30. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty tiring, too. That's pretty, pretty tiring. Like from, from the university or work? From work. From work? Yeah. It's it's tiring. All right. Well, um, thank you. Thank you for being here. We're guys, we're only gonna be here two more days after today. Right? So let's, you know, extract the most amount of information that we can. All right. So we can uh, so we can learn something. All right, guys. So, anyways, welcome. Uh, good to see you, Cesar, Ever, Gabby. Samuel, nice to see you again, Eduardo. I don't know who else is connecting, but um, but oh, first things first, let's go over the platform. All right, today we need to finish. We need to make sure that the platform is covered. So, how are you doing with the platform? Have you finished all the platform? Yes, teacher, I'm done. All right, do you need help with? Any, not any, guys. Do you need help with uh, section five and the final assessment? Do you need any help with that? No. No? We're good? No. All right. Okay. Se la saben todas, pues. I'm kidding, guys. Yeah. It's good, right? <laughs> it's good. It's good. All right. Se la saben todas. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the way of, of, of learning a lot of English. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That, that's right. That's right. All right, guys. So, all right. So we were learning. 
we were learning, guys, uh, about if clauses, right? We were talking about second conditionals yesterday. All right. We need to talk about the rest of the, you know, the usage of certain second conditionals, and we need to practice. Did we have guys the? Oh yeah, yeah. You had the conversation session se session, but you were not able to complete it. So we we are going to practice today, guys. There is something. There is just one more thing that we need to cover in regards to conditionals. So we're gonna go over, you know. We're still going to talk about conditionals today, right? So, real quick, right? Real quick, guys. Hold on. Let me share this. So, let me ask you something. Uh, Edgar, what would you do? Thank you, Roald. Uh, thank you. I, I noticed. Um, what would you do if you found or if you won a million dollars? And I will, the example is here, right? If I won a million dollars, I would I will travel around the world. There should be a comma here. Okay. And then I will buy uh a boat. A boat, okay. Yes. Very good. Guys, the pronunciation guys is like this would okay there is no l all right so it's just would right i will travel around the world okay so that's that's fine so i would travel around the world okay uh gabby what will you do if you if you want a million dollars i will buy a car i would buy a car okay very good all right so you can say i would buy a car All right, uh, Caesar. What would you do if you won a million dollars? If I won a million dollars, I would travel um, to Korea and South Korea. To South Korea. Okay, I would travel to South Korea. All right, so. You can say, I would travel to South Korea. Okay. Um, Catherine, what about you? What would you do if you won a million dollars? Hello. Yes, yes. If, uh, if I won a million dollars, I will buy... Mm, the big house <laughs> i would buy a big house very good a big house, yes. good job okay that's awesome raul vasquez what would you do if you want a million dollars uh, okay. if i want a million dollars i would like to to buy a lot of uh, houses i would buy yeah, guys you can say i would like but there's a problem if you say if you're starting to learn english and you start saying i would like i would like i would like People get used to doing that, you know, and the only thing that they know how to say is I would like. And then if you go to, I don't know why you're learning English exactly, right? But if you're learning English to apply, you know, to a different job to get a better position or whatnot, then, um, then, then, you know, would like, right? Is not necessary. You can say I would plus the verb that you want to mention, right? But very good, okay. That, but it's a good example. You can say it. It's not. It's not wrong, right? Okay. Uh, just don't get used to overusing it. Um, Joanna. So if you won a million dollars, what would you do? Uh, I would, I would buy a lot of houses, and I would, I would travel with my family another country with my family another country yes all right to another country right okay very good cecilia what would you do if you had a million dollars if you want a million dollars if i have a million dollars um i would like to 
make um how do you say refugio? I would like to build a shelter. I would like, I would like to be a shelter. Shelter. A shelter to shelter. An animal shelter. shelter. An animal shelter. Okay, so that would be right. So that would be an animal, right? An animal shelter. Very good. All right. Uh, who else, guys? Who else? Who else wants to tell me what they would do? You know, if you had, if you won a million dollars. Me you won, yeah. Go ahead. If I won a million dollars, I would like to. Well, I will buy some franchise like Little Caesar or Pizza Hut. Some franchise, right? Like Little Caesars. Or pizza hat. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful job, guys. Okay. So you got it, guys. You got the structure of, you know, uh, second conditional. We know that we use it to talk about. To so talk about what, guys? Unreal situations, right? We use it to talk about unreal situations in the um in the present in the future right or is it in the past in the future in the future right so guys i want you to practice because i'm gonna i need to give you feedback um i sent these examples to the whatsapp group yesterday okay so um uh... So let's see here. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. So I sent you this one, right? I'm going to send you this one now. But I want you guys to talk about this because yesterday you were writing this down. And listen, I needed to pay attention to this. I don't want you to write any, anything down, okay? You're not going to write anything down. What you are going to do is you are going to talk, okay? I want you to talk so I can hear you. And while you're talking, you are going to ask your partner her, hey, if you were the world's best at something, what would you like to be the world's best at? Okay? So... Te lo voy a repetir en español, guys, porque a veces de verdad lo digo y, y, y escucho que están preguntando qué van a hacer, ¿verdad? Right? Solo van a conversar, no lo van a escribir en el cuaderno, esos no son ejercicios que van a resolver, solo quiero que contesten realísticamente. Aquí, por ejemplo, dice, si fueras el mejor de algo en algo, ¿qué te gustaría, ¿de qué te gustaría ser el mejor? And you would say, you know, I would love to be the very best at playing soccer, right? And then, remember, it's a conversation, right? So you're going to say, I would love to be the very best at playing soccer because one person I admire a lot is el bicho, right? All right? And then you say something like, sí, right? Anyways, okay, so that, that's an example. Right? I don't even like watching soccer, guys, but, you know, you might like it, right? So I don't know, right? You, you can say, I would love, I would love to be the best at singing, because I want to sing as beautifully as Bad Bunny. <laughs> right? Me gustaría ser mejor en, que en cantar porque me gustaría poder cantar también como Bad Bunny. <laughs> he cannot sing, guys. Right? Anyway, so, um, so, all right. So, whatever answer, guys, be creative and I'm going to give you feedback, okay? Respondan, respondan realísticamente a su manera. Tienen otro set de preguntas que les envié ayer. Les voy, les voy a enviar esas ahorita. 
y les voy a estar dando feedback, ¿ok? Para que aprendan a utilizarlo en la vida real, ¿ok? ¿Sounds good? So that's what we're going to be practicing and then we're going to come back here. I'm going to ask you some random questions from the ones that you practiced and then we're going to talk about the next topic, which is going to be what if, right? So let's get started, guys. Let me send you this screenshot to the WhatsApp group. Let me create the breakout rooms. All right, so let's go. Let's go, let's join, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there you go, somebody else had sent it already, so. All right, so let's join the breakout rooms, guys. Leanna. <clears throat> right, Irma. Let's join girls. Yes, we can, yes. All right. Hey Catherine, I'm sorry. Uh, so you 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 uh, were waiting for your couples. Your man Tanya are supposed to be here. I okay. don't know what happened to them, but you know what I'm gonna send you to a different room. Okay. All right, hold on. The first question is... All right, let me hear you talk, guys. The first question Girls. is... If you were the worst best at something, what would you like to be the world best at? I would like to be the best at playing 21 Blackjack. Blackjack? Yeah. It's a... It's a cards game. Oh, yeah. Oh. I could make a lot of money if I will the best. <laughs> yeah, you could be the next, I don't know, the casino. Huh? And what about you, Joanna? 